Welcome to Fafstar's Modern Warfare 3 Equipment Guide. In today's episode, the LR Detector. The LR, or Laser and Radiation Detector, is Modern Warfare 3's iteration of the High Alert perk, and has many of us confused primarily because it functions in a completely different way than High Alert. In today's video, a deep dive into the LR Detector. I'll explain exactly how it warns us of enemy threats, and reveal all of the in-game items which are detectable, helping you decide if the LR Detector is worth using in your go-to class loadout. The in-game description describes the LR Detector as a piece of gear which warns us of hostile laser and radiation sources. We'll begin with a quick demonstration of the LR Detector's warning system. When a hostile laser or radiation source is detected, you'll be warned by a repeating audio chime combined with a pulsing red light which appears to originate from a device attached to your chest. The end result from the first person perspective is a pulsing red glow which lights up the lower middle portion of the viewing area directly in front of your operator. It's noteworthy that the LR detector's warning is non-directional, presenting the same warning regardless of the enemy's location. This is a big change from Modern Warfare 2's version of High Alert, which produced a glowing border at the edge of your field of view, indicating the direction of the threat. The key to understanding the LR detector is understanding what exactly constitutes a hostile laser irradiation source. To demonstrate, we'll use a split-screen view. The operator on the left will be the source of hostile equipment, and the operator on the right will be the target, and will have the LR detector equipped. As you can see here, simply aiming at the enemy with a base weapon won't reveal any sort of warning, regardless of where it's aimed from. Even a sniper rifle fully aimed down sight won't produce any warning on the LR detector, because a base weapon sniper rifle doesn't emit laser light or radiation. In order to emit laser light or radiation, you'll need a weapon attachment, the most obvious being a laser sight. Any weapon with a laser sight equipped will trigger the LR detector's warning indicator, regardless of the direction from which the laser is being emitted, and regardless of whether or not the weapon is being aimed down sight. The aiming tolerance required to trigger the warning is 10 degrees in all directions around the target, resulting in a circular detection cone of about 20 degrees from side to side. The LR detector requires direct line of sight to the source in order to trigger the warning, and won't detect anything through walls or cover. However, the detector will continue to operate through smoke. Every laser sight in-game will trigger the warning, even if the laser isn't visible to the naked eye. The only exception in the laser sight category is flashlight attachments, which won't trigger the warning. Of course, the LR detector doesn't only detect lasers, it also detects attachments which emit radiation. All 12 thermal scopes available in-game will trigger the warning, and the LR detector responds in the exact same way as it does for lasers. The warning is non-directional and will be triggered even if the weapon is being held in a hipfire stance. In addition to thermal scopes, optics which feature an integrated laser, such as the Cronin MSP-12, will also trigger the warning, as well as the Raptor FVM-40 rangefinder scope, which uses a laser to determine the target's range. Of course, it's worth analyzing other equipment which could theoretically be producing laser light or radiation. Unfortunately, the portable radar and the heartbeat sensor won't be detected, and neither will score streak AI targeting systems. Even the remote turret which scans for enemies with a laser won't trigger a warning on the LR detector. In addition to these drawbacks, the LR detector is also range limited and will only detect laser and radiation sources within a range of 100 meters. A piece of gear which provides a warning indicator with no directional information and only detects threats from a very specific group of weapon attachments provides very little in the way of valuable intel. 
Imagine a scenario where I receive a warning and I'm in the courtyard on the map invasion. Because the warning is non-directional, with a range of 100 meters, the enemy could be located almost anywhere on the entire map. I think it's obvious at this point that the LR detector is incredibly weak and is desperately in need of a buff. Triggering a warning for all weapons regardless of attachments, as well as whenever you're detected by a heartbeat sensor, portable radar, or comms vest intel pack, would make the LR detector much more viable and allow it to compete with other equipment in the gear category. Of course, this is only one man's opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.